They were designed to be the best. They met enemies face to face, endured tragedies and enjoyed victories. They went down in history due to the bravery of their crews. They are the ships that deserve to be called Naval Legends. On June 6, 1942, Tanabe Yahachi, commanding Imperial Navy submarine I-168, is stalking a crippled United States aircraft carrier, USS Yorktown. He wants revenge for losses inflicted by Yorktown and her sister carriers on the Japanese in the Battle of Midway, fought two days earlier. Tanabe fires one of the most devastating four torpedo spreads of the war. He stays at periscope depth long enough to watch the explosions tear into Yorktown. Watching his ship go down, Yorktown skipper Elliot Buckmaster makes his surviving crew a promise. That's all right, fellas. We'll get another ship and come out again. Evening, everyone. Um, I started work today on the uh, New Yorktown. Um, you can see, I started by cutting out the flight elevators because, according to the book, I have all three elevators are down. So I opened them both up and. Uh, just cleaning them up a little bit. Um, not difficult work at all, but it is kind of tedious. Very tedious. Um, but still nothing compared to what I'm going to have to do to get those uh, get those uh, anti-aircraft guns put on there. So. Um, I don't know if you could see. Hang on, I'm going to turn the light on in this. Alright, there we go. Just wanted to show you. Um, it's got some raised um, raised markings on here. Um, most of it's going to be obliterated anyway. I'm going to sand most of it off. Um, I don't need it for this build. And of course, you got the holes here, here, and here, and so forth down the, down the uh, ship that are for um, aircraft to be mounted to. And those are going to be filled in with some putty. Um, there's also, you can see an injector mark here, which I find very strange. Right on the front of it, there's an injector mark. Actually, you know what it is? It's not an injector mark. It's the, um, it's the post. That's what it was. It's got to be sealed in. Um, <clears throat> okay, everyone. We are here continuing the work on the USS Yorktown, the way she sits today, three miles beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Um, we left off last time, um, was working on opening up the elevator doors. <clears throat> As you can see, they're open. Um, now, where those are right now I mean I don't know if they still sit lowered in the hull of the ship or they fell out during the descent uh, to the bottom I don't know uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work around that detail when the time comes but they are opened that's obvious um, I filled in you can see 
we filled in all the holes excuse me turn my light filled in all the holes uh, along the deck that were supposed to that were there for mounting like the aircraft to the air to the uh, flight deck and everything which we're not going to do in this kit so that's all filled in sanded uh, the flight decks pretty smooth now all the detail that was uh, on the deck is gone uh, which is okay because this is a, a wreck um, that's not going to be seen on it anyway so that's okay so that's where that is um, after we got done doing that I moved towards the forward section of the ship um, which is called the bow or um, as uh, some of the Navy guys call it also the forecastle. Um, there are what I was doing is I've been going through the internet and I'm trying to find um, a good set of plans of this ship because there's I have a lot of questions about it and uh, I just haven't been able to find answers from the uh, undersea footage that I've that I have uh, the photographs of it the way it is now and um, even the uh, the archive photos of the ship um, it's very difficult to, to make heads or tails of, of some of the things. Um, it's just the, the pictures are so far away, there's nothing close up that I've found. So uh, I did find some plans. I've been working with those. Uh, problem is they're of an earlier version of the New Yorktown, so they don't have all the answers for me, but there are some. So it's helped. One of the biggest things that I noticed um, that stands out from the underwater footage of it right now as they come up is the way she sits on the bottom um, the way they the camera comes up to the bow one of the first things that you see is there is a um, I don't know the proper terminology for it but basically it looks like a really large tub and inside of that tub is two anti-aircraft guns that point forward to defend the ship from head-on attacks. Um, this kit doesn't have that. The funny part is, is if you look at the box art, it's right there. So, it's kind of silly. So, that had to be created. So that was my first step on working on a Folksel. And here we go. Here it is. So, took some evergreen styrene evergreen styrene shaped it to the proper shape hollowed it out uh, put two posts on the bottom of it and mounted it on the bow of the ship then using some wire and some flat cardstock I made some anti-aircraft guns Let's see if uh, you can see that Move my leg back a little bit maybe that helps so yeah, that helps a little better so that's where that is. It was a big piece that was missing, in my opinion. It was a big. It was big. Um, so now it's remedied and looking better. Um, one of the things you'll notice, I got these styrene pieces right here. That's to give the flight deck just a little bit more lift um, for clearance for these guns. Um, in one of the earlier developments of this, I sanded it and sanded it and sanded it. And when I put the flight deck on, it had the clearance, but just didn't look right. This needed to be thicker, more thicker to scale. So um, I did it again, left it a little larger this time, and then added the spacers to it. And I think it looks pretty good now. Um, it's not 100% accurate uh, or to scale, but it looks a little better. Okay. The next thing that I did... I'm going to refer back here to the back end of the ship. If you look here, this here, this little molded in piece here, and you can see a little line is supposed to be the barrel of a gun. And there's four of them here. Well, this is identical to what's on the bow of the ship. And they look horrible. So what I've done you see that there is I shaved off the guns drilled into the housing 
put some wire in it, cut it to approximate scale from what I can tell from the drawings that I have, um, and it looks a lot better, and they're pointing skyward. Um, this one over here, I cut off all together and twist it to a different direction, um, and this one stayed the same. Um, I think I'm actually going to go back and reposition this one because it's supposed to be pointing forward. Um, I screwed up on that. And the fourth one is missing altogether. That's the way it is on the wreck today. There is one missing. So, um, But that little bit of work, I think, brings more detail and depth to the, uh, to the model. I think it looks pretty good. So after doing all this work, and did some dry fitting, which I did, oh Christ, dozens of times when I was building all this. But silly me didn't realize something. Let me show you what I found. When I dry fit the deck, or the flight deck over top, now I hope you can see this. I know I don't have it on right, but what, you, what we're looking at here is, excuse me, the bow is here. And if you go straight up, is the flight deck. That's the way the kit is built. The flight deck overhangs the leading edge of the bow. Reality of it is, it's not supposed to. The bow is supposed to be leading the flight deck. So, put this in here. What you should see if it's done properly is pretty much like this. From the, looking directly down at the edge of the flight deck, you should see just the very tip of the bow sticking out. Um, and a little bit of the gun uh, the gun mount I see there too. Um, what I had to do is I had to cut off the flight deck. And I did it wrong because I cut off back here. Um, when really was I just had to cut off this. It, it's, it's all messed up, but whatever. Um, I was able to put this back on, take off the tip of the, the deck, which is this piece right here. Hang on. So there's about that much flight deck that I had to take off. I mean, it's almost a half inch. So now I think it looks a little bit better. Um, next step for the bow is there are two anti-aircraft gun, one that goes on this corner, one that goes on this corner. So they are in a little rounded out uh, catwalk type fixtures here and here, and those guns sit up here and they, they also help protect the, the forward end of the ship. So that's my next step is I have to fix those. Um, another thing that I was worried about with this ship um, is of course more guns. You've got a gun mount here on the which is going to be on the back side of the island. You got one on the front side. These are molded in. If you can see them, they look cheesy. They look hokey, and I just don't like them. So very shortly, those are going to be cut off, tossed, cut off and tossed. And I will fabricate some new ones. Uh, and this time I'll have uh, four barrels per gun. And I believe there's one actually goes here too. So the forward end has two. Um, I have to work on that. So that's the next step. Another thing I was worried about, looking at somebody who is doing the same scale enterprise. Um, he put on his anti-aircraft guns because his kit was missing them too. But he has guns. Uh, it's, it just rings the whole flight deck. Um, and it looks really cool. So I'm trying to figure out how does that work on the Yorktown. So I've been looking at photos and try, or trying to look at photos. And to be honest with you, it's really funny. You can't find a lot. I mean, there's a lot of photos of the Yorktown, um, but not detailed to what the guns were. Um, I was able to locate some plans. So those plans, the deck plans that I have, detail where the guns are supposed to be. New Yorktown didn't have as many of these. Um, I believe they were 50 caliber uh, machine guns. Uh, they were manned by the Marines on board. Um, this ship didn't have as many as the Enterprise did. What there were, again, I found two here. 
I have to put those in. There were four up here, four down here. Go down towards the back past the island. There was four here, four here. Then on the stern of the ship, there was three on underneath the flight deck, pretty much the way they are here, but there's three on this side. I'll get to that later. So I started kind of stressing out a little bit, trying to figure out um, how to recreate that. Um, it just looks odd not having it, and since I was working on the other guns, I wanted to do those too. So I finally figured out with some flat plastic card, some wire, how to make some, and this is how they look. Let me see if I can get in here enough for you guys to see this. Okay, that's what they look like. Are they to scale? Yeah, no, they're not really to scale. But uh, at this scale of a ship, in, again, my opinion, my model, my opinion, <laughs> agree or disagree, it's up to you. But to me, I just think it adds more uh, visually to the model. Um, they may be over scale. There's nothing I can do about it. I think it looks a lot better than not having them there. Um, so they're crooked. They're pointing in all different directions. They're supposed to be. This is a wreck. It's been sitting. It's three miles down into the ocean. They're damaged. They were turned in all different directions during the battle. They're going to be haphazard. And so uh, personally, I'm not tooting my own horn because I don't do that very well. I think the haphazardness of it looks pretty decent. Um, the rest, I don't know if I said it a moment ago, the ones that go here and here and even here, as far as I can tell, they're gone. They don't exist on the wreck today. The ones on the on the corners of the bow do, and I'm going to have to build those yet, but the rest of these, I don't have to worry about those. Why? Because it turns out on June 6th, Damage control crews were trying to th correct the list of the boat, or the ship, I'm sorry. Navy guys get pissed. Trying to correct the list of the ship. To do that, they offloaded all the weight they could to help that, and then, again, try to help ensure that she wouldn't sink along the way to Pearl. <clears throat> so what they did, one of the things, get rid of all the aircraft, anything heavy inside was taken out, tossed overboard. Um, and then these guns along the rails here were also tossed overboard so they no longer exist so that means that much less that I have to worry about um, so that's it for now um, the bow is almost all done two more guns here I should be good to go on that one then it's taking care of these two here um, and then it's going to be on to the stern section uh, stern section's got a lot going on back here, and I'll get to that when the time comes. Um, but for now, that's it. Um, thanks for looking. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Um, I really appreciate it, all the uh, the comments and everything that everyone's been showing. Um, Till next time, be strong.